Welcome to this calculation for N5 Electrotechnics and in this video we'll be looking at example 1.3. Now in particular we're looking at the torque formula. To define torque it is the twisting force about angular motion. In the formula we have IA which is the armature current measured in amperes, the flux per pole measured in Weber, small letter P is the number of pole pairs, Z is the total number of armature conductors. C is the number of parallel pods. If it's wave wound, C is equal to 2. And if it's lap wound, C is equal to 2 times small letter P. And um, for lap wound, then the number of parallel pods is the same as the number of poles. In this example, a four pole DC motor has a lap wound armature with six conductors per slot. The motor develops a torque of 90 Newton meters when 30 amperes flows through the armature. For a useful flux per pole of 40 milliweber, calculate the number of armature slots. So what's important in this question is that we have been given a torque of 90 newton meters. So therefore we're going to use the torque formula to solve our problem. Just to show you the formula, torque is equal to 0, 0,318 times the armature current multiply by the flux per pole measured in Weber times the number of pole pairs times Z which is the total number of armature conductors divided by small letter C which is the number of parallel paths. Now to solve this problem for the uh, number of slots we first need to calculate or derive Z. So to calculate the total number of armature conductors we'll manipulate the equation it will be torque times the number of parallel pods divided by 0, 0,318. And we have the armature current, the flux per pole, and the number of pole pairs. So now we can just go ahead and substitute. The torque measured in Newton meters, which is the twisting force, is 90. Uh, this machine is uh, lap wound, so therefore we're going to have two times the number of pole pairs, so therefore there are four parallel pods divided by 0, 0,318. The armature current of uh, 30 amperes, and we have 40 milliweber. Now, to convert milliweber to weber, you multiply by 10 to the power of minus 3, and the number of pole pairs is two pairs. So therefore, the total number of armature conductors is 471,698 conductors. Right, now we need to actually solve for the number of slots. So to calculate the number of slots, let me just write this over here, the number of slots it is going to be Z, which is the total number of armature conductors, divided by the number of conductors per slot. All right, Z, we've calculated Z. It is uh, 471,698 uh, divided by the number of conductors per slot. And they said that there are six conductors per slot. So therefore, the number of slots is equal to 78,616. Now you can't have a small piece of a slot, you need a whole slot. So what we do is we just round it up and therefore there are 79 slots. Alright, thanks for watching this video for N5 Electrotechniques.